Las Vegas gets about 90% of its drinking water from the Colorado River, one of the most contested water sources in the country. But year after year, demand for the river's water surpasses supply. Combined with the drying effects of climate change, it's a problem experts across the West are scrambling to solve. Nevada has by far the smallest share of legal entitlements to Colorado River water. It's guaranteed less than 2% of the total rights issued to seven U.S. states and Mexico. With projected population growth in Las Vegas, the Southern Nevada Water Authority is taking an all-hands-on-deck approach to conservation. Over the last 20 years, even though the population in Southern Nevada has gone up, per capita water usage has been cut nearly in half. So overall consumption is actually down. A big part of that reduction is recycling. Nearly all of the water used indoors is recycled through wastewater treatment plants and put back into Lake Mead. That leaves outdoor water usage as the biggest drain on the system. But Las Vegas has led the way among Western utilities in converting water guzzling lawns to desert friendly landscaping. In 2021, the legislature passed a law that outlaws non-functional turf, things like grass on sidewalks and medians. Las Vegas also enacted a ban on any new golf courses using Colorado River water. These are just some steps the Water Authority is taking, all working toward the same goal, stretching the small amount of water allocated to Las Vegas as far as possible. But reducing water use isn't the only strategy Las Vegas is counting on. As Lake Mead continues to fall to record lows, the Water Authority turned on a new third intake to reach the lowest levels of the reservoir. Las Vegas is even investing in a water recycling plant in Southern California. The idea being, the less water Southern California needs, the more Colorado River water is available for everyone else. These investments highlight Las Vegas' two-pronged approach, cutting water usage and building new infrastructure to make sure it can continue relying on a shrinking Colorado River. <laughs>